This is 504 and we begin this morning with the all important Michigan primary for those candidates still in the race. It could be a deciding factor as to whether they'll continue their push forward. And with the polls set to open in about two hours, we are hearing from the candidates this morning. 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafe is live in Southfield with more Nima. Malcolm, good morning. You know, get this with more than 2 million Michigan voters expected to turn out today in the primary. It's expected that this could be the biggest turnout in more than four decades. And just hours ago, this was the scene inside the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History, where Hillary Clinton did some last minute campaigning to a packed house, speaking to them, calling Detroit home. Here in Michigan, the former First Lady and Secretary of State leads the polls with a significant lead over her rival, Bernie Sanders. Across the way, and Troy, well, last night, Ohio Governor John Kasich there speaking to a crowd at the Oakland County Republicans Lincoln Day dinner. His rival, Senator Ted Cruz, on the west side of the state, where he held a rally in Cascade Township. This morning, though, it's Clinton making her final push for votes. I want to keep shining a bright spotlight on what happened in Flint, Michigan. I, I just have to tell you, I, I've been kind of living here. Don't tell anybody because I'm close to having to pay income taxes for how much time I've spent here. For Kasich and Clinton there, as we just saw from them, their days were long yesterday. And again today, with that record turnout expected, we could see some of these candidates make some big decisions after the results from here in Michigan. We have complete coverage for you all throughout the day. We're live this morning. I'm Nima Shafe, 7 Action News. Thanks, Nima. Also today, people in Waterford will be voting on a school millage to raise $100 million. School millage is also on the ballot in Pontiac. The polls are open from 7 until 8 o'clock tonight, and you can find up-to-the-minute results on WXYZ.com.